Wait, you want Rey Nuvo? Yep. <laughs> That very ironic that Rainbow showed up to this tournament today. Uh, very uh, a little late, but nevertheless, Fuerte and Yam on stream. Daisy versus Lucina. Uh, Yam, yeah, Yam playing Lucina today. Mm -hmm. I saw him playing her in friendlies earlier against Yat and doing decently well. So we'll mm -hmm. see how it goes in bracket Ooh. today. And right now, Fuerte's got a pretty strong start with this Daisy. Yeah, I'm about to say Daisy definitely has ridiculous damage output. It's like one one grab combo, a two piece grab combo, and all of a sudden you're at 30 something percent. It feels like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy, mad expressive with everything she does. That's, why she's, that's why she's the better of the princesses. I agree. In this game, in this game. Yes. Nothing Be else. Because unfortunately, canonically, she's kind of like Waluigi status. We're like, what does she do? Yeah. She's kind of like, she's there. Nevertheless, back to the match. Right now, Fuente with a pretty decent lead against um, Yam's Lucina. Yeah. But again, Lucina's a very fundamental based character, and it only takes like, it only takes a couple good reads, a couple good hits. To really get back into the thing, uh, swing of things. Yeah, especially in this matchup where swords are very daunting for for Daisy. Oh, oh. Excellent back air to catch that recovery. Keeping it stock. Yes, keeping end. himself off stage as long as physically possible to get that back air on Fuerte and taking that first stock away from him quickly. It's just very hard for um for Paisy to maintain control in this matchup when Lucina can keep craw crawling towards you with her beak sword. Mm -hmm. You know, Paisy only has Paisy only really has like that quote unquote sword factor with her fair. Yeah. And even then it's not very reliable of a tool Ooh. as that right there. Oh, okay, Jesus. Yeah. Alright, man. Just cause you play just cause you play snake doesn't mean you have item combos. For okay. real. You see that, huh? Oh man, thank you nice. He's pretty good. 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 So <laughs> so Fred they still try to take the stock off, is really struggling to do so, just isn't able to find the hits where possible. Hey, I, he's throwing out the moves, he's just not getting that decisive blow. Yes. Perry. And, and and potentially at this level of play, um, it comes down to how you space your moves specifically because like you can come up with the right option, but if you tr if you pull back at the moment the hitbox comes that out, was not a real no, it was not. <laughs> like if you drift back at the moment, you go for the, like right yeah, there. If he drifted backer. back with mm -hmm. that backer, the backer was the right option. But if he drifts back at the wrong time and misses that punish, now the match changes entirely. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, nice counter. On that up tilt does mm -hmm. take the stock, but it's an entire stock difference between these two players. I'm about to say, the way the match has been playing out so far, you almost wonder if it's too little too late. Well, let's see. They, again, Paisy does have a very good damage output, but Fuerte is obviously struggling to find the hits, and he hasn't shown he has the capabilities to get any good damage strings on, even when he does get the hits. So spot dodge cancel down the smash. Indeed. Earlier in the game, <laughs> early in the game, we saw him do spot dodge cancel into, um, or not spot dodge cancel, but just spot dodge into uh, Toad. Mm -hmm. And I was like, bro, the point of spot dodge canceling is to hit them. <laughs> <laughs> not to throw at a counter option. Wait, that's not how it works. The counter option is the hit, not the counter counter. Ooh, okay, okay. okay. It's always nice seeing Peaches go for like unorthodox options because like you never really see that kind of thing like a uh, turn up into a fall down there. But like, Fuerte again, still at a pretty significant disadvantage, goes for the counter again, Ooh. gets teared off stage. You should be able to make it back. Yeah, mm -hmm. there it is. But he's one hit away. He's one good hit away from death. Oh, he tried to wait it up, but that counter yeah. lasts too long. That hit that could have killed him got countered. Mm-hmm. Oh, nah. I thought it. I just thought it was fair. Yeah. But he's just he's he was searching for the grab in that instance. It's like sometimes he has the right decisions, and in that instance, he just did not have the right choices going for him. That no, <laughs> you got to punish. No punish. Jeez. Oh man. Uh, up, out of shield. Nearly killing. He barely lives. No bear off that ledge there, but feel, just yeah. the control is here, and there's the up the out of shield. Those up the stock. I was about to say he could have, he could have dropped down bear, couldn't he? Like drop down double jump bear mm -hmm. from that position, but doesn't matter. The upbeat will take the stock and the game. Game one going to Yam, who overall is man, Pokedot's going off on this TO test. But what's new? What's new is right. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, Yam playing a very fundamentally sound game from start to finish where they having some right options but not necessarily able to get the ones to seal up the stocks. Polkadot said, I'll play all Ken today unless I run into, and then he listed like 20 characters. <laughs> he, listed, he was like, unless I run into all the characters that all the normal Smash players play. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say anything. No, no, he, he said like Greninja, Ness, and like I'm not going characters. to say anything. I will talk to him personally. Ain't no sneak dissing around here. Game two, Fuerte and Yam. See, I sneak this because the moment I try to open my mouth, he, he's like, no, 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 I have a louder voice than you, therefore you can't speak. So. I have some thoughts and opinions, but nevertheless, <laughs> <laughs> nevertheless, Kalos, game two, very interesting pick. Gives him a lot of space to work with. Obviously, it's FD with two side platforms that gets recovery mix-ups, but I don't know how Daisy, how Paisy can really use that, like, 
as well as other quick characters, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, well, no. Okay, so FD is considered a good stage for Daisy yeah. because of their potential for combos. But uh, we haven't really seen that too much out of Fuerte yeah. this set. Mm -hmm. And very strong start from Yam right there. Sending mm -hmm. them off stage and getting those back airs to close out that stock. But only taking 13. Only taking, you know, one. Yeah, one it was 13%. Hits. Yeah, it was 13%. There's a combo it's potential. Crowd. Yes, yeah. it's the back air. There it is. Fuerte. Nice up air. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, this is how I get something started. Oh, man, Momentum's. Fuerte needs to be fuego. You need to be hot with your stuff. Right now, he's frio. It's more cold. It's, it's more difficult to get in on this Lucina. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They actually made um. They made that side be like the peach bomb. Yeah. Uh, they made it. That crap side. Uh, they made it easier to punish because uh, they had a little bit more lag after hitting your shield. Ah. Or just hitting, hitting anyone in general. Yeah. Um, so you can actually just like fair out a shield. And Ooh! Shoot it and that's okay. a duck! Yeah, nice! That's the edge guard. Taking the stock in a much quicker clip, however, that 82% is a little bit, you know, a little much to have on him right now. But you say that until he gets a sexy push <laughs> combo. Yeah, you're right. Or a sexy daisy combo. Yeah, my man just needs to get the hits. Yeah, Yam not really approaching too strongly, so he's able to pull out these turnips for almost free. Indeed, but I think yeah, that back here. yeah, I think Yam was judging what he was doing on the stock, Ch choosing the double jump away from uh, choosing the double jump away from Fuerte in general, picking his spots very wisely and getting the punish where he needed to. Every time I see Lucina, like people play Lucina, I'm like, dang, why didn't I think of that? Because I'm just like, why, why even do those <laughs> things? And I, can I don't know. It's like, crazy. Like the way you play Lucina just works. Yeah. Yet somehow it's always like, it's always nice to see like well, other it's just, players. It's just funny because I see them do the thing that like every Lucina would do, and I'm like, oh yeah, I could have just done that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's true. That's true. That's true. But even still, Yam up one stock, virtually even percents, all things considered. Um, Fuerte needs to find a... Fuerte needs to get him off stage flat out. Like, plain point, plain simple. Yeah, oh, oh there's the bomb! Oh, 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 oh my god! But yeah, my god, that shield very quickly. Obviously, staying calm in this situation, you have to with the bomb on deck. You don't want to do anything too reckless to get blown up for it. The still a little low there, so you couldn't... Uh, so the shield poke mm -hmm. managed to get through there. Oh, trying to go for the counter, but yeah, I'm too patient. I think that's been I think that's been a big thing about the set in particular is that Yam has been really out like more patient than Fuerte has been. And Fuerte has been trying to go for these like options. He's sort of been like low-key flirting with panic. Yeah. But like not quite full on panic, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. It's something where it's like, oh man, I want I want some interaction to happen, so here it is. Yeah. yeah. And, and he forces his hand and it doesn't yeah. really work. Um I just realized what Yam Sag is a reference to, but even still, he's playing very patiently, waiting for the right opportunity, getting the backer and getting the kill. What is this Tiger reference to? It is a reference to Young Thug, Thugga himself. I won. I won. Uh, a song, a song off of his new album. Um, admittedly, I haven't listened to that album. I do want to, but I'm probably gonna listen to it after the fact. You can't you, relate. Yeah, I understand. 